Well, of course, you guys know about this news, this new Kids Daniel challenge. I beg. Before I start seeing Twitter uh, people, uh, Twitter, uh, TikTok, Instagram people doing it, I beg. Make you know, say this new challenge. No be for poor man. It's not for middle class. Eh? Check it very well. It's not for middle class. But the beauty about this is that eh? mm? you can decide to show the one make you want to show. In fact, it doesn't really necessarily know. The other video are just showing their, their self. His Daniel did it because it is Daniel challenge. Of course, you see, he showed that his uh, flight to Ivory Coast the other day cost like 40 million naira. Then the shoe cost like one point something million naira. So the video decided to jump on that same challenge. And of course, of Onaobi Ona, you see as a scattergram. Well, it depends on what you are. It depends on what you want to do. I might decide to, uh, to jump on that challenge and show little stuff that I got. You must not show private jet now. You must not show this one. If you get like my sneakers, maybe 50,000, 80,000. Uh, Twenty thousand. I can decide to show it. Now my own be that. Now wait till I get. So, well, the challenge is not meant for poor people, but why not? You can still jump on that challenge. And again, I want to make this clear. You know, we have the general notion when we are seeing people like uh, David Doe and so many other celebrities out there buying expensive cars and buying. Uh, Jewelry, spending millions on jewelry. You know, we commonly use the word the billionaires do not wear diamonds. The billionaires do not wear gold. The billionaires who actually have money do not drive Ferrari, Lamborghini. Then the question is who are those people buying the Ferrari and Lamborghinis? Is it the poor people that are buying the Ferrari and Lamborghinis? <laughs> that should be the question. Is it the poor people that are buying the Ferrari and Lamborghini? We should stop using that notion. That Liko Dagote know the wear gold. And Liko Dagote phone see be the same phone. Okay, who could they buy Ferrari? Are they making Ferrari, Lamborghini, and the Bugatti for poor people? Can you afford it? So those people who are also buying the Ferrari are also rich. And let me tell you, eh, I tried to explain this thing before. I thank God I'm using this opportunity to address this whole matter. See, everybody with their problem. You see Bill Gates, eh, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, uh, Elon Musk, then Aliko Dangote, uh, Femi Hotel Dollar, <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> they are expensive. They are expenses. Eh? They are hard desires. Expenses. Eh? They are expenses. And let me repeat again. Their expenses is no doubt of David Owen and all those boys, all those rich guys. Although their expenses are way more. When David Owen is planning on buying the next 500 K dolls, uh, Bentley Bentega or Maybach or that next diamond ring to spend one million US dollars. Do you know what Aleko Dagote is thinking about? Do you know what uh, Jeff Bezos is thinking about? Do you know what Elon Musk is thinking about or Bill Gates? They are thinking about buying jets. Of 30 million US dollars. They are thinking about buying yachts of 100 something million US dollars. They are thinking about buying the next most rare photo portrait in the world. Yes, so someone has spent close to 300 million 
US dollars on a portrait. They are spent thinking about buying that. So, whenever I want to make that statement, there, just know that there are individual expenses. All those rich boy expenses, they are small. Their dreams, they are small. Those big guys, what they want to buy now, hundreds of millions in US dollars. You saw Jeff Bezos' uh, uh, yacht. Let me even call this ship. Let me have a color yacht. Now, yeah, they call it ship, but let me call it ship. Because now, two ship you get. Two ship. One is worth 350 million US dollars. You saw the house he bought for his, his, his girlfriend, 63 million US dollars. Talking about in your mugs, have you seen his, yeah, his, uh, his yacht? Have you seen his house? His house. His house eh, that is staying in. His real house in America. There is no neighbor. He bought the entire neighbor. Now, in your mugs, we don't really know about what your mugs have bought or not bought. Because it's all about business, 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 business for your mugs. But that doesn't mean it's not buying. That doesn't mean it's not buying. Then Aligo Dagote, Aligo Dagote, that thing say, na, na, na normal guy, you know, the flex. You know, they say, go check Aligo Dagote, get flex. Me, you start saying the chop chops of guests, but I walk Go and check it now. Go and check it. So, see, it's just that the more money, the more elaborate things you're going to spend your money on. What will Lamborghini do for Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates or all those people? What will Lamborghini want to do for them? They buy Lamborghinis so they get them. They can buy it and gift it to someone. What will Lamborghini want to do for them? They, are, they need that big or something. Because they don't drive alone. It's only Jeff Bezos you see him driving alone in this very, very expensive cars. Majority of their bulletproof cars. The security personnel that follow them around. If they tell you, like uh, the owner of uh, Facebook, Mark, Mark approximately, as uh, two years ago, spent approximately close to 50 million yearly on security. Not be 50 million naira, 50 million US dollars yearly on security. And whenever it's working, you do not see the security. You don't see him working with security. They are around him, so they they, they far. They they trace our car. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> see when they do, they spend one million on diamond ring. Eh? Bigger just they spend two hundred million on some really lavish thing that doesn't really make sense. Tell you the truth, man. So let's move past that. Let's talk about Kid Wire. And the relation between Kid Wire and Osh Popay. So, because of how Kid Wire was doing his talk recently, you know, father boy, you know, rich father who is uh, actually going out uh, to show off uh, his expensive lifestyle. The other day, he wrote, he said, Imagine if I wasn't a wire, I would just be a kid. Yes, so. He should be grateful. He said something really, really well there. Yes, so he actually made a lot of sense. If kid, if kid wire was it a wire, he could just be male ordinary picking for there. So why showing the his father private jet in his father private jet and doing his normal stuff, chilling, traveling to even go and meet his father? Because in the, the next picture, you see you see him with his father, and he also said. That see what you cost to be billionaire, so no be easy, no, no be easy. Now, so my own son could collect. Then someone replied, said, If you know, like this guy, and you know, can't get money, no matter how much you try this, anything go pain you enter your bone. <laughs> ah. 
clean wire. Then now, and they try to compare that with Hush Puppy. The kid wire is trying to be Hush Puppy so bad. Trying to be Hush Puppy so bad. Kid wire is not a fraudster. Kid wire is still roaming freely. He's not. He has never been indicted. He has never been arrested. He was even existing even way before Big Brother Niger, but Big Brother Niger just opened up. So, my guys, eh, forget. You cannot compare Kid Wire and Hush Puppy because they are not the same sentence. Hush Puppy is a hustler. Came from nothing to become somebody. Made a name for himself to be one of the dreaded first star to ever come from Nigeria. His name, his name will reign for eternity, if possible. So, whether it good or bad, his name will continue to reign. Uh, Oshmope set a new standard. A new one like Pablo Escobar. So please, eh, do not put Kid Wire and Oshmope the same sentence. Do not. Kid wire is kid wire. Hmm? Kid wire and kid wire. So don't put down. Hush puppy. Now hush puppy. Hush puppy. Now hush puppy. For those of you who really knew the doings of hush puppy, we tell you, we tell the upcoming generation. That was a standard for all your old boys. Now you make your old boys blue. Do in a way that they want to go, you young guys want to go to Yahoo Yahoo. They don't want to come out now. Every day, now the FCC, they arrest 26. 50. The other time, they arrest their 50 something. Appa. And yet, boys still they do. Uh, they still they know they come out. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. one day they go arrest almost all the youths for Nigeria finish. <laughs> but fraud is not good. Come out. I'd rather be a kid wire. Than being an Osh puppy, if you ask me. Yes, so. I'd rather be a kid wire than being an Osh puppy. I don't want to get arrested. I want to be enjoying my father's money, Jejeli. Enjoy the little one I have, Jejeli. Just enjoy my lifestyle. You know? You guys, thank you very much for watching.